everyone welcome back to it's dry cooking show today i'll be giving you a fried chicken breast recipe i hope you enjoy but first i'll be sharing with you how i prepare the chicken breast that i'll be french frying let's get this on okay welcome back okay, now here you see my list of ingredients that i've set out on my table And my chicken breast I've already washed it with some vinegar and pressed beat it out with, to get it to that flat texture now let's get this up I'm back so now we're gonna add one and a half cups of milk it all depends on the amount of chicken that you're gonna prepare I'm using one and a half cups of milk maybe it will take two two teaspoons of salt now my all-purpose seasoning tablespoons cayenne pepper to add a little spice not much spice I'm gonna add so I'm gonna use a teaspoon of cayenne pepper Parmesan cheese. This is. Let's see what I a little Parmesan cheese. This is my mix. Now what I'm gonna do is just mix this around. Now whatever flavor you like, you can add to this mixture. If you want more spices, if you want more like a zest or you know sweetness, you can add like a touch of maybe sugar or honey. Now I'll be adding the, the three eggs. Let me get something to crack it. eggs will be giving the, the chicken the crispy look I'm gonna whip that in now when you you're marinating this chicken or beef or whatever you're doing you should let it stay for roughly about two to four hours for everything to soak into the meat to give it that flavor Make sure the egg is mixed out. Now we're gonna place a chicken breast. As I said, I beat it out with a beater if you guys have that. Or you can do anything that you use anything at home that you can use to beat it out for the breast to get a little flat. Now we're just gonna gently place them in to this butter. You can also taste it if you want to taste if it has the right seasoning or salt and in ingredients. I'm 
there you go now what I'm gonna do is get the cover cover it place it in the refrigerator for roughly two two hours four hours anywhere any one that you want then I'll get back to you with the frying preparation okay guys we're back my marinated chicken breast and now my butter which I had two teaspoons of Parmesan cheese some all-purpose seasoning a little black pepper and a touch of salt because remember we had already seasoned this before so what I'm gonna do now is just mix around that ingredients I know what I should put some cornstarch in this you know I'm gonna do that as well and mix it in So let's get this process started. Let me get rid of this pot cover or dish cover I should say. Now I just wanna now you as you see I'm using my spatula. You can also just use a pair of gloves and do it. Then you're gonna put it in your butter and lather it with the the flour then you're gonna dip it back in the butter take it out put it back in the flour mixture and then just Oh my, sorry about that guys. Ooh, it's a bit slippery. These things happen. So just dip it back in the flour and get some flour all over it. I was trying to put it in the plate. And then you just continue the process. No special piece. You just take out. Mix it in the flour. Dip it back in the butter. Back in the flour. So guys, when next you see me, I'll be getting it ready to add to the fire. So just let me finish doing this off camera. As I know you won't probably want to watch me do all of this stuff there you go guys I'm gonna preheat the stove the pot now so I'm gonna get this started now that the now that the pot is hot I'm gonna add our chicken put what can hold you don't want to overload the pot one piece another piece can hold right here now we're just gonna give it that time to get to that beautiful color thank you guys for sticking around for this this part I hope you're enjoying it so far okay so it's time to turn Look at that guys, oh my god, it's so crispy, look at that, wow, okay so you wanna Remove it. Cut that. And 
add it to your drain or spray. So you had already taken out a few. Let the rest of them continue to fry. Okay, guys, there you go. I'm just gonna let it drain for a while, and then you guys can join me at the table. Thank you, guys. Okay, everyone, finishing dish. Serve with some potato chips and my secret dip along with some coleslaw thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy this recipe